It's U-Haul day. Woo. Water bottle. Got the wife, got the wife mobile. It's the big day. She even started the vehicle for me. That's service. At its finest. Wasn't it handy being married? What was that? Sorry about that. The radio. I always have my music blaring. My bad. Yeah, she's a party animal. That's true. Looks like they saved us the GMC. Got the old beater. It's kind of disappointing, actually. I wasn't going to say anything, but I kind of wanted the Ford. He's weird. I know. That's out on the internet forever now. I wanted the Ford. We're going to need to rethink this whole living together situation. Are you sure? Would you still love me if I drove a Ford? You can live in the carport now. With the Ford? Sure. <laughs> On our other land. <laughs> oh, they had two brand new Fords here. I was hoping they were gonna save one for me. But I think they watch the videos, at least someone in here does. They probably gave me the GM because obviously I would prefer the GM. But actually this time, secretly I wanted the Ford. I know. I'm gonna be kicked out of so many Chevy clubs now. You're out of mine. I'm Ooh. taking Chevy and I'm running. <laughs> well, the Fords were brand new. Oh, well, this one's gonna be just as good. And it's, it's just amazing. It's just a moment. Here she is in all her glory. Oh, and there comes the wife. Isn't she beautiful? So beautiful, so beautiful. Not getting a bath for me. That's not part of the contract. <laughs> okay, so I'm all good to go. I see you at home. Maybe we should follow each other in case it breaks down. That's a GM. It's good. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Let's do our pre-trip on this bad boy. Turn that off. Oh, it's got a middle seat too. Look at this, look at this. Very nice, very nice. Let's try the signals, let's put the hazards on, let's turn all the lights on. Let's go make sure everything works before we leave the yard here. That front signal working. I already did check the tires for air. Signals are all working back here. Lights up there are working. No people hiding in here. That's good. Never know these days. So lock one hand. There you go. One hand. Set and ready. All right. Let's take this bad boy home, shall we? Low overhang, watch your head. How tall are people? Really? Okay, oh! Oh, comfy! Oh, it feels like an old school truck. 
Very comfy seat. Very impressive. It's a GM. I was joking before about the Ford. Those were newer though. <laughs> I don't really care what truck they give me. I'm just glad they had a truck for me. Okay, so here's my proof, my evidence that uh, that's where the fuel is at. I got to bring it there just below three quarter. Got to bring it back with about the same amount of fuel or more. Remember, always leave things better than you found them. So it's just below three quarter. Maybe we'll bring it up to three quarter. The washer fluid. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's rock and roll, baby. Oh, 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 come on. <laughs> Get into the, no, not that gear. There you go. Drive, we got this. Well, that window's dirty over there. All right. Off we go. <laughs> yes. You haul Josh. So somebody should really explain to customers that <laughs> the speedometer is in miles an hour. I travel in the US a lot, so I figured it out pretty quick. But I was going down Main Street, I look at the speedometer, it says I'm doing 30. I'm like, what? This feels a lot faster than 30. I look down, oh, that's miles an hour. 30 is 50 kilometers an hour. I get it. I bet you some people get into this thing and don't realize that the speedometer's in miles an hour and they think it's kilometers and they just go ripping down the highway with this thing. <laughs> uh, U-Haul's an American company, eh? So all the trucks are in America. This truck's got Arizona plates on it. You might have seen it in the back there. Uh, here we go. So I passed my mom on the way here already. She's picking up my sister. My dad's coming with his pickup and his trailer. Gotta get my pickup out of the way here. Got stuff to load up in the garage. And I think with everyone's help, shouldn't be too difficult. I don't wanna say it's gonna take like half a day because, whoa, 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 calm down Chevy. Don't worry, don't worry. I know I was driving another GM, but you're still my Chevy, don't worry. Angry at me. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, I always say it's gonna take so and so long and then it takes way longer. So I, I don't wanna exactly say how long this is gonna take, but I just wanna get my pickup out of the way now. So we don't have to work around this thing. Park it right in here for now. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Take my gloves. It's gonna be a good day. It's supposed to be really warm today too, like 23 degrees. So on dad's trailer, I'm gonna put the quad, the tractor, the other tractor, the snow blower, and stuff like that, stuff we can tie down. And this is all stuff's gotta be packed into the U-Haul eventually yet too. And there's dad's tools from our renovations. He's probably gonna to wanna to take those home today. Exciting. You know, I thought it would be more bittersweet, but it's more sweet than anything. I'm excited to get going on this, on this new adventure, new journey. I'm excited to build our house in hopefully five years, maybe less, maybe more, but I'm excited. It's gonna be great. It'll be ours right from the ground up because like I was telling you the other day, the land we bought is completely untouched. Oh, well, it has a clearing already, a somewhat of a clearing for a house already. We gotta, we gotta extend that a little bit, but the land itself has never been built on. No one's ever lived there. So uh, it's gonna be all ours right from the beginning. We can make it exactly how we want it. But first, we need to move into our tiny house so we can save some money. Got some pretty good progress going on here already. We got a lot of people. We got 
mom and dad's SUV there. So mom came in that. My sister Rose, Britt's mom, Kathy. My dad's truck with all the toys on the trailer. We got the U-Haul here. Britt's sister Jasmine came out. And our vehicle's back there. So the garage is pretty well packed up. Just a few last finishing touches to do. And we got all day tomorrow yet, but you know, everything always takes longer than you think. So got all the toys on here. You guys haven't seen this bike in a while, eh? Still have it in the quad. Uh huh. My wife's been trying to get me to sell it, but I'm a strong man. Nope. Oh, I should probably take that off of there for transport. One second. At least put it on the ground here. There's an extra mower blade. Don't want that flying off into traffic. <laughs> and we're gonna have to come back for a second trip on Monday. Grab this mower, grab that bar, a few other things. This is all garbage here. So how are your Tetris skills? Tetris skills? Your Tetris skills. Don't know. I don't know what Tetris means. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get it. It's a game where you gotta stack blocks together. I'm okay. He doesn't I, even... Ask my wife how much I can stack into rooms. Oh, he doesn't even play Tetris and he's, and he's a Tetris master. Okay, I haven't even trained for it. <laughs> I spent then. my whole childhood training for this. So Britt's mom organized all the the wood there. Got it all ready to split. I just gotta gather all those sticks up into one single pile yet. Get them out of the way. Everything's looking pretty empty, Weasel. What do you think? What do you think? Barbecue's even gone, man. But with us uh, moving everything around in the house, it's kicking up all this dust. I'm slightly allergic to dander. And my allergies have been really acting up. But big thank you to everybody who came out to help. You know, our family really pulled through and we had a lot of people show up, more than we expected. And it made it go really quickly. So we just have a little bit more to do tomorrow. The final touches of the packing and uh, Monday morning is the big day. That video gets released on Tuesday. And it's been pretty fun. Let's go take a look at the garage real quick. It's looking a lot different in there too. 
Believe it or not, that U-Haul is actually not big enough for us. Oh wait, I didn't take the keys, but... Aha. There we go. Got to get this thing all packed up today. Ready to pull over there. Let's see what's it look like in here. Still a little bit. This is our garbage pile. That's our donation pile. That's going to be on our second trip on Monday. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and unload Dad's trailer. First of all, first thing in the morning. And then, well, we get the house at 10 a.m. Uh, and then come back here, grab just the, the, like the old mower. It still runs. We're going to fix it up, and it's going to mow down some of our the long grass on our new property so I don't wreck the new mower there. That and that, and uh, a quick sweep. Oh yeah, this is our bar that was built by my cousin for our wedding. Our cousin Frayne. It's just amazing, we don't want to leave this here, so that's gonna go into storage at my dad's shop until we figure out a better place for it. This is happening, Weasel. I'm a little sad too, man, but that's okay. I'm excited for what's coming next. Where is everything, man? What's your quad? What's this? Who put this here? What's all this? What's this over here? Where is everything, man? Dude, it's all gone. Diesel, hey. It's not all gone, don't worry. It's gonna be at our new house. He handles the move the best because, you know, he's a trucking dog. He's used to moving around. It's uh, Chevy and Wiener that are going to uh, take it the worst. They don't, Chevy's never moved before in his life. He grew up here, he's three years old now. And Wiener just doesn't like moving, he doesn't like change. Oh. It is what it is, they'll be okay. <laughs> Looked a lot different the last time you came in here, huh? Very curious. I know, I gotta sweep this place up. But yeah, it's been a busy day loading up getting everything ready so this is the video tomorrow there will be another video of us uh doing almost the same thing but less of it <laughs> so we'll see what happens i don't really know i'm so tired i've been trying to get everything done as quickly as possible and you know me i say it'll get done oh no problem get it done in a day or two always takes longer than you think it will so thanks for watching today everybody The last couple of days here. All right, Diesel. You excited? Can we go in the truck? India. U-Haul truck? <laughs>